Howdy out there. This is TJ coming at you from GoFigureNews.com. And today we have two separate sets of vinyl figures coming from completely different sides of the universe. So we are going to be looking at the boy cat bird from Android and Ghostly International and also Sweet Poison. This is from Project Detonate and we are going to take a closer look. I'm going to open them one by one and that makes two and we're going to start with Boy Cat Bird. Now this has been sitting on my desk for some time and it's just been busy season so in between the conventions and the holidays is really for some reason my busiest season because I am looking at things that fall outside of the mega commercial realm. Now we hope that that figures like this become more widely known and that you in fact will research a little bit if you are interested as an adult collector. So this figure right here you can find more information on three websites boycatbird.com, ghostly.com, and android8.com. So let's open this up and take a look at what is inside. Now this definitely caught my attention. It is quite adorable. And um, before I show you the figures, I'm just going to give you a perspective of the box. This is the top of the box. This is the bottom of the box. And then we can take a look here and here. Okay, so now this is a really interesting set and a little bit unexpected. It comes on a little platform. So here we have it. It's pretty straightforward, boy cat bird. Now, I want to take a look to see if there's any movement. Okay, it looks like the bird moves. <laughs> um, I can't see. Oh, the head moves here. So we can have a little bit of fun. Okay, and we're going to give you a perspective. That's what it looks like from the side. And the back. The side doesn't tell you too much. And let me see here. These are vinyl figures on top of a small, quite heavyweight platform, actually. And on the bottom, it basically just reads Android 8 and Ghostly International. Now, one thing to look at closely is Ghostly International may, in fact, be a music company because as a former music journalist, I actually had an opportunity to meet and work with, uh, for a short period of time, uh, a band called Twine, who were under the moniker of Ghostly International. The bird is really cute, and it's got a long tail, and it is uh, perched upon a little gray stone. The color is a really kind of muted orange. The cat really stands out. It's the largest figure with a big bulbous pink head. And let's see, what can I say? Almost has like teddy bear qualities. And the boy here is in fact, um, looks, looks kind of scared. <laughs> has this uh, slight look of terror about him. Now, um, also on his pajama bottoms, he has that sort of onesie with the two buttons on the back. So that's something good to point out. Now the paint job on here is really well done. There's nothing off. There's nothing obscure. Um, the, uh, the platform here or the base, let's call it, has a sort of onyx feel to it. And I'm not exactly sure what it's made of, but I'm going to say it 
it's it's not plastic. I'm thinking that it's more like it has some kind of uh, like a hydrostone sort of quality about it. And I absolutely love the tail on the cat. It's a it's a nice swirly tail. Great sculpt. Very um, how do you want to say uh, uh, bubbleish and uh, and immediate and uh, and like a, kind of almost like a figure eight kind of like the the name of the company that helped put it out Android Eight. All right, so now for the unveil. Da, da, da. So let me take this out of the box so you can have a look. It comes in two little parts and the inner uh, part of the box, which I'll show you in a second. We appreciate that this company went through the trouble of putting plastic around each figure and the uh, felted inner box really helped protect it. Very well done. Nice presentation. And, uh, and the box has a um, magnetic side, so the box stays closed when the figure is out or in. So the first part is a little cupcake uh, with a cherry on top, and it looks like it might have um, bones sticking out the side. Let's see, is this a vicious character? Oh, look at this. He is, he's, um, he's adorable and vicious at the same time. Wow, I don't even remember this figure, so this is wonderful. Now, two things to point out. One, the wings here are articulated. So, and I haven't seen one like this, so this is cool. So, he's going to fly away. And away! And the arms are also articulated. Oops. Take me to your leader. Sweet Poison has a lot of details. Now, I want you to see the back. The front has a, uh, a, a pink sort of almost elephant-esque face with a skeleton on the uh, top of his forehead with a face on his belly using a cherry here as well. So there's a lot of symbolism here. I think it's going to be something for you to decode at home. The mouth here is actually um, in, it's an indentation. So it's part of the sculpt. I would say the sculpt is really cool. Um, there is a, also a little bit of a, um, a, a line here which is formed. Um, so it's not just a drawn line. It's a part of the sculpt. And then the arms are quite almost like bowling pins, like uh, typical bowling pins, then with some pink batter on the, on the uh, tips. And that, I guess, would indicate his favorite dessert, which is cupcakes. Now, the cupcakes, however, these are cupcakes from another world. Maybe these are zombie cupcakes. So you can see the sculpt of the feet. They're almost like forks. Uh, or fish feet and um, this is just a very very creative figure it's about what do we say about four and a half five inches tall this item is probably only about an inch and a half tall so he comes with or she comes with this accessory and a cool headband now this is indicating that the pink part here is a mask. However, this is not detachable. This actually comes on the figure. So you can take a look here. I'm going to put the wings down completely so you get a different perspective. There's the, uh, the side profile. And again from the front. So that's Sweet Poison. So two wonderfully colorful characters, figures that are Definitely a little bit unexpected, particularly this sweet poison figure. And um, my guess is these are still out there if you can still find them. They both came out some time ago, but I'm glad to bring them back so that you can have a look here on GoFigureNews.com.
Thanks for visiting and we'll see you next time right here on this channel. Bye-bye.